Hello there. Today I'm going to be reacting breaking down Invincible from World of Warcraft. Boom! Okay, this is already a super tragedy. You can hear the tragedy already. He has a soloist on top of the choir. Oh, God. The first thing that I would like to mention is that I have a special relationship with Warcraft. I played the first game, I played the second game, I played Tides of Darkness, and I played Warcraft 3, and I played Frozen Throne. Unfortunately, I missed the boat with World of Warcraft for a personal reason, but WoW was one of those things I missed that I wish I was a part of, for sure. Now, about the song. Like I said from the beginning, this song is overwhelming with tragedy and sadness. This is the theme of the steed of Arthas, the fallen prince. One of the crucial elements that is driving the storytelling is that the lead vocals as well as one of the choirs are kids. And I think this is very important because this gives the song a touch of innocence that I think refers to the relationship in between Arthas and Invincible. You see, both of them share an unbroken bond since the horse was born. Arthas was a kid at the time, so they grew up together and they have went through everything together. So starting the song with that will seem like a throwback, a yearning sentiment to their origins, but completely imbued with the tragedy of what will happen to them later. And also being a horse comes with pure innocence itself, you know? The horse didn't really question Arthas for anything, like Uther did in the Cullen of Stratholm, for example. It's completely unaware of those things. It's about a complete devotion to its master. But I also think that Invincible's theme is a vessel to really tell the fall of Arthas to become the Lich King, and of course, dragging Invincible with him. By the way, if you made it this far, thank you so much. So while you're at it, why don't you mount that like button? Oh, I, I got goosebumps out of that, mate. I think I've heard some sections of the song before. This part in specific, I think I've heard before. That transition with the woodwind was really cool, by the way.
getting goosebumps again. Like, I love the choir progression, the chord progression, sorry. Well, I like the choir too, obviously, but uh, the chord progressions... I like them a lot. Yeah, this sounds like the climax of the song. There's the soloist on top of the... In the climax, the soloist comes back. Okay, so now let's talk about the lyrics for a second because it's really related to what I just said. From what I understand, this is a mourning song that is sang almost from the perspective of the Lichkin or Arthas. Oh Steed, my stalwart companion, I mourn your loss. Even in dead, you were the first in battle and the last to retreat, even so in dead. Alas, I have lost part of myself. So this is almost exactly what I was saying before about the relationship in between Invincible and Artus for an early age. You know, the devotion to its master never breaking down, you know, always there for him until the very end. So this is Artus basically mourning the loss of his only really true friend and companion till the end, you know what I mean? And we also have, long live the king, may his reign last forever, may his strength fail him never. So this is almost like a call and response sort of track in which you have the mourning of Arthas, uh, uh, you know, talking about Invincible. But we also have sort of a, a anthropomorphized response for the, from the per horse perspective saying like, you know, you are the king, you are the lich king, I will, uh, you shall live forever, you know, long live the king, uh, everything like that. From the horse perspe perspective, if you will. So even after death or in death, the horse well he was undead in in a way right but on dead undead let's say uh, he's still you know loyal to its to its master so yeah that's uh, a bond that is beyond anything hey if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and check this other reaction that i did all right i'll see you there <laughs>